forward, Joe Gucci. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education and reads, what reports has she received about the teaching of reading and writing in years one and two at primary school? The old land, Holly. Mr. Speaker, I have received a report from Eero which focused on how effectively reading and writing was taught in years one and two. The report found that while 70 per cent of teachers are doing well, 30 per cent are not teaching reading and writing effectively and set low expectations for students. It is extremely concerning that the report finds 67 per cent of school leaders, that's principals and senior managers, aren't properly monitoring how well these young children are achieving or progressing, and that three quarters of principals don't set high expectations of achievement levels. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What is the government going do, doing to address these issues? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Mr. Speaker, national standards, which will be in schools next year, give schools a shared set of expectations about achievement in each year of school. Plain language reporting to parents and communities will ensure that parents are well informed about their child's progress right from when they start school. When a child is struggling, national standards will ensure that parents are aware at an early stage so that they can help. That's what parents want. That's what this government is making sure that they get. Order. Kelvin Davis. To the Minister. Has she read page five of the report that says, quote, although high teacher expectations are important, they are not sufficient on their own to enable children to achieve. Expectations for high standards must be accompanied by good teaching. And what specifically in her national standards will improve teaching? The Honourable Anne Tolley, point of order, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Further away, but uh, I was listening quite closely to that question. I couldn't hear it for the barracking from the government benches. I, I order, order the uh, back benches on the government side were making absolutely unacceptable level of noise. They should realise that sitting close to the wall back there, it just bounces into the centre of the chamber and it is extraordinarily difficult to hear. I invite uh, Kelvin Davis to repeat his question. To the Minister, has she read page five of the report that says, quote, although high teacher expectations are important, they are not sufficient on their own to enable children to achieve. Expectations for high standards must be accompanied by good teaching. And what specifically in her national standards will improve teaching? The Honourable Anne Tully. Yes, yes, I totally agree. And that's at the core of national standards is effective teaching. It's about informing parents of, so that they can be involved in the process too. And that's what this report says principals and senior leaders in schools in three quarters of the schools are not doing effectively for years one and two. Kelvin Davis. To the Minister, can she understand the frustration of the 70 per cent of teachers who are doing a great job, according to the report, but are resentful of national standards being imposed on them, threats being made to sack boards of trustees, their professional integrity being smeared, and moves to prevent the criticism of the Minister? The no, but I certainly understand the frustration of parents around this country that are fed up with unions dictating to them how Question number five, the Honourable Annette King. 